What's up YouTube, Team Deception here with a updated uh, deck profile for my scrap deck. Um, I got a couple new cards, or it's changed up only like two cards in here, but I figured I might as well do a new um, deck update for it. Um, so yeah, um, let's get started then I guess, instead of wasting time. Uh, first up is staple uh, three scrap chimeras, um, you need three in any scrap deck, um, because most likely you're running tuners and if you're not, then I have no idea what kind of scrap deck you're running, but you should quit while you're ahead. Um, it's pretty much just a 1700 beat stick, and its sole purpose is just getting at your synchros. Um, next up is three scrap beasts. Um, one of your main tuners for the deck, there's only three tuners you really should be using. Um, scrap Worm, I think it's the only other tuner in the game that's for scraps, and it's not really used because there's no level 6. Uh, scrap synchro, but um, it's an excellent card. It's a 1600 beat stick, um, and like all these, most of the other scraps, when it's destroyed by a scrap effect, you get to add back something. It's usually scrap chimera, but whatever. Um, this one I might be reducing to two, but um, three scrap goblins. It's pretty much your um, spirit reaper for the deck regarding um, destruction through battle. Um, if you have something like ultimate offering set or active on the field or um scrap storm or something when they declare their last attack before the before they can even end the battle phase you can destroy it get its effect and stuff like that or you can trigger it off for like golem or something um next up is the two new cards that i've added into the deck um two scrap orthros um it's the other level four tuner it's a secret from extreme victory as you can see um it's a it's essentially a monster reincarnation for the for the deck because it cannot be normal summoned or set, it can only be special summoned while you have a scrap on your field. And when you special summon it you have to destroy a scrap monster in the field when you summon it this way. Um and if you just if he's destroyed you can add um by an, or if he's destroyed by a scrap effect you can add another scrap from the graveyard from to you know to your hand. So and it's a level 4 tuner and shit. Uh, next up is Scrap Golem. I'm actually considering going to 3 since I run Ultimate Offering in here. Um, just because they attack, okay, I sacrifice my monster and summon out this. Uh, it's an excellent card for this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up is Card Trooper. Um, excellent mill. Um, I love destroying a Scrap Dragon and Scrap Twin. Um, so it's pretty much its sole purpose is milling and whatnot. Uh, scrap Searcher, this is too good not to run in any scrap deck. If you're not running it, um, you better not be running Scrap Golem then because this card is just amazing. Um, with Scrap Golem, you can bring it back onto your opponent's field and any face-up monsters that they have that aren't scraps are destroyed. And you can put it on their field and attack mode and do heavy damage, so it's really good. Um, Sangan, kind of a staple for this deck just because you can destroy it with Scrap Dragon or Scrap Twin. Um, and when it's destroyed, you can add out key cards like um, the next one, which is Summoner Monk. Um, you summon it, goes to defense, discard a spell card, and you summon out a level four from your deck. This is good for summoning out your sum or your beast. It's also good for summoning out pretty much anything that's level four. Um, as soon as exceeds come out, um, it really won't matter. I could drop out Scrap Beast. I could drop out any level four from my deck and just exceed some in that way. So. The other card that Sangan is actually good for searching out is this. Um, if you can't send it to the graveyard with Foolish Burial and you have Sangan, this is a likely choice for you. Um, it's a good way of putting it into your graveyard as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, you reduce your Scrap Dragon or any Synchro on your field, then you can destroy a Scrap Dragon or Scrap Twin, so you can save your other cards for later or for whatever use you may want them for. Spells, um, staple, you need three, Scrap Storm, it's pretty much the Gemini Spark for scraps, um, probably better because if you destroy something like, uh, Scrap Beast or something, you can also add back a scrap from your graveyard, so it's just excellent, it's also good for instantly giving you, um, access to pretty much any scrap monster in your deck, um, this is a personal choice. I might be dropping these. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I'm running two Econs. Um, I only have two Scrap Dragons, so I figured I would put these in. Um, so that way I could distribute off my Scrap Chimera if I can't you know, Synchro into my last Scrap Dragon or if, it, if this situation calls for another level 8 like Stardust. Um, but I might be dropping these for Forbidden Chalice just because um, in here it works really well. 
Um, I can use my Scribe Dragon's effect earlier on in the turn or whatever, and then use Scrap or Forbidden Chalice to increase its attack, or I can use it during either player's turn on like Effect Veiler um, and negate their effect at the cost of potentially losing, I don't know, a monster on my field or something. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I mean, the the ability to negate the or the destruction of all cards on the field through a black rose or something is actually really nice. So I'm thinking about replacing these with Forbidden Chalice, but I'm not sure yet. Um, so I'll get or get back to me on that. I have to play test it by actually getting the cards first. Um, next up is MST. This is an excellent card for this deck, and I consider it a staple. Um, if you have uh, your Scrap Dragon on the field or even Scrap Twin in this set, you can just go. I target this and then chain it and destroy another card. So it's really good. Um, next up is Scrapyard, which is a staple. I'm considering putting it to two now that I have Orthros in here because it can search out your Orthros as well. Um, but one so far has been working really well for me. Um, but I haven't been drawing out Orthros that much, so I might put this up to two. Um, if you don't feel like you need it, like if you already have your tuner or whatever, you can discard it for Summoner Monk or destroy it with Scrap or Scrap Twin. Um, next up is one for one. Um, this card is kind of a must, even though I only run two uh, level ones. It's um, excellent for bringing out your one or your level eater if you need it for any situation, or um, it's just good for ha to have. I mean, it can set you up for a lot of decent plays. Uh, Staple Reborn, uh, Staple Trunade, you absolutely need this in here. Um, Staple Dark Hole, you need this in every deck right now. Mind Control, this card's amazing in here because I can take their monster and destroy it with Scrap Twin or Scrap Dragon. Um, it's also good from Senior Synchro Plays. Uh, last spell is Foolish Burial. Um, again, dump your... Uh, you can dump any of your shit like... Uh, what's it called? Scrap Goblin or um, Scrap Beast if you don't have any other way of putting, in, putting your tuners in the graveyard for um, Scrap Chimera. And... Um, yeah, it's just excellent to have traps, uh, two bottomless, um, these are my main trap monster destroying things because I don't have any warnings, um, which will explain my next card, um, it's also kind of a staple, so, anyways, next card is Ultimate Offering, this thing works extremely well in here, and, there, and if you guys don't believe me, I mean, for real, if I can get a dual video with this tech up at some point, um, hopefully I can show you guys how this actually works in here because it works really well. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've spammed the hell out of the field with Scrap Chimera and stuff because I've been able to re-add it to my hand multiple times and shit. And I've seen, there was actually a time, I played, was playing a deck very similar to this on a, well, on a new World Championship uh, game. It's not out in America yet, but I have the ROM for it. And I managed to drop two twins and a Scrap Dragon on my first turn in OTK, or second turn in IOTK. Um, so, it was all because of this, too. I had Call of Hunted in this, which set me up for a major play. Um, I don't run Call of Hunted in my real life deck, though, for some reason. Anyways, um, Solemn Judgment, staple. And the last two are staples as well. Um, Mirror Force and Torrential. Though a lot of people were kind of leading away from Mirror Force. I guess I'll show you my extra deck, that my extra deck's pretty much the same for every deck I have, except for, um, Fabled, which, as you can see, I've got, like, a lot of the stuff here, which I just dropped, whatever. And yes, I do intend on running Doppel Warrior in my deck, just because, you know. Anyways, extra deck, like I've told you already, I only have two Scrap Dragons, so I only run two, um, which is why I run the Econs. Um, I'm actually thinking about putting this one to three, because I can Synchro Summon it quite a lot. Um, it's Scrap Twin. It's excellent for um, removing more cards off the field. Um, especially with Level Eater, it's for nothing. So it's an actual, it's really good. Um, and I have so many ways to summon it. Um, I put in this because I still have the Scrap Goblins in there. Um, it's an excellent card for you know, whatever situation. It's good for matching Trishula. It's good for matching Thought Ruler, which is going to probably become really popular because of the whole Psychic hype. And yeah. Um, I run two Stardust, um, I'm going to be dropping one of these for Librarian whenever it comes out, um, so, yeah, but, I might actually keep both and drop, um, this, which is Red Dragon Archfiend, um, this is still a very good card, I mean, it's excellent for destroying, or decks that depend on stuff like Spirit Reaper or whatever, um, it's also getting, good for getting rid of mass tokens that are in defense mode, like the Anulian tokens, 
staple it's your only real good level six these days um staple as well um at least until a uh, librarian comes out then it might actually be seen less um iron chain it's an it's kind of my goyo replacement for right now um there's a level six synchro in japan that i'm dying to get whenever to if they ever decide to release it here um Next is the staple of Black Rose. You need at least one in your extra deck. Doesn't matter what deck you're running, you need it. Uh, Colossal, I've been thinking about dropping this as well for another synchro. I have no idea which, but um, it's an excellent card against Samurais and stuff. And lastly, because I don't have Trishula, I run Mist Worm, which is just as good if you ask me. Um, just because it can remove more cards off the field than Trishula can, but Trishula can also affect the graveyard and shit. So in a way, I kind of see them being in the same boat, just it depends on the situation. Honestly, I would run both if I had both, but whatever. So that's my scrap deck. Um, I hope you guys actually like it. If you have any suggestions for it, let me know. I am also intending on putting a granule in here, but I don't have any right now. I need at least two, um, just in case I decide to run two, but, um... My friend Robbie has been trying to, and apparently hasn't been working that well for him, so I might only use one. Um, same goes with Scrap Orthros. He's only using one now because it wasn't working for him. But um, it's working fine for me. I mean, I hardly dead draw it at all, or I just don't draw it at all, which is fine with me. I mean, I've used it whenever I could, and it's whatever. So, yeah. Expect a binder video after this one because I have nothing better to do right now. Um, so, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace, YouTube.